In the town named Ruto lived a little laddo. To some he seemed to be a twerp, for all he ever said was burp. <coughs> Nearby, a castle with a moat where the king would row his boat. This was where he took his leisure. Just one thing spoiled his pleasure. The moat, you see, was full of frogs that sat and sang on top of logs. Underfoot, they just went squelch, but in the water, they would belch. The belching burping got so bad, the poor old king was driven mad. He took his problem to the town. Could he have the frogs put down? The citizens, one by one, said, No, that could not be done. Except for our dear boy who burped as if full of joy. The king himself was not amused to have his question so abused. He dragged the child back to the water and told him that he should not take the mickey of the king. It really was not the done thing. In the water, boy was dropped where he landed with a plop. You stay there among the toads. Tell some manners you have played. Burp as much as you desire, but wrap it up when I retire. Really, when I go to bed. Boy hit the water with a splash. The frogs went silent in a dash. Mud and water made a slurp, and then he let out one great burp. Frogs replied, one great chorus of burp and burp to really bore us. Burp, 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 they all went. Burp, 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 the silence rent. It truly was such a row. Boy couldn't stand it anyhow. Boy agreed that burps were boring, even worse than mother snoring. He searched and found another sound and talked his way back to dry ground. On the bank, he cried aloud, Let me leave this awful crowd of frogs so mindless and so noisy. They really had upset our boysy. The king looked stern and said, <clears throat> You really have to silence them. Boy fixed the frogs with hard eye and wished them all a stern. Goodbye. Respect the king, you scurvy knaves, and let him sleep. You must behave. The frogs looked back, quite astounded. They were, in fact, quite dumbfounded. But the notion seemed to seize them. Their new-found silence seemed to please them. And so the frogs made a pact to really change the way they act. But they craved just one boon to forever change their tune. May we welcome every morn and sing to welcome every dawn. Can we call with every sunrise and leave the daytime to the wise? Yes, said the king, you carouse me. No finer way for you to rouse me. After that, though, no more burping, so I can get some kingly work in. And you, dear boy, have learned to utter real words and speech. You even mutter, leave the burping to the frogs, or I will feed you to the dogs. And in Ruto peace now reigns, happy with their recent gains. That boys turned out to be no traitor, and soon they made him town orator. Well, they made him a town orator, really, but that didn't rhyme. <laughs> Thank you.
citizens of Ruto, away! The morning has broken and the king has started work. Not a frog to be heard for the rest of the day. Be praised.